Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to increase or decrease the volume of a video. You'd want to do this if you've got a video that you want to perhaps upload to YouTube. Maybe it's a bit quiet. This video is going to show you how to make that sorted. Uh, either way, either if it's too loud or too quiet, you can change it. Uh, the piece of software we need is called Handbrake. It's quite a well-known piece of software. You can do quite a lot of stuff with it. Uh, so it is handy to have around. The link in the description is safe and is secure as of doing this video and I've been using Handbrake for a while and it's always been very safe so once you're at the once you follow the link in the description you should get to this page uh, and once you're on here you want to click download Handbrake if you've got Windows if you haven't got Windows click this other platforms bit and then you've got the 32-bit 64-bit version for Windows and you've got all the other operating systems as well so we have got Windows, so we're going to click this download handbrake button and it should start loading below. I've already got this downloaded and I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to install it, but you just want to click on that or open the download and then just click the or follow the steps on the install wizard. And then once you've got it installed, you can open it up and we'll get on to the next step. So once you've got it open up, you need to first of all go to the source button here and this is importing your video that is either too loud or too quiet then you want to click file and then navigate to your video I've already got mine in front of me this is what we're going to be using as a test double click it to bring it in and then once it's loaded in you want to click the audio tab and then in the audio tab you want to click the show button and then on here this is the important bit the gain button up or down depending on whether we want it uh, lowered we can put it say to down uh, minus 10 or if we want the volume increased we can click 10 now you won't have to change any other settings it will just remain as default and then before we click the start button we have to browse for a destination file so if we click browse it, it'll, I think it will bring up the file uh, the file you got it from so if we just call it test, put it in the same file that we've got it from and then click start and it will start encoding it. Now it will take a while if you've got a long video, if you've got a short video it shouldn't take too long. Uh, this also depends on your computer but it, it should manage, it might just take a while with some. And that's it, once you've done that you'll have a separate video so you can delete the old one if you wanted or keep it as a backup, it's always good to keep it as a backup. And that's it, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.